Proposition 52, state fees on hospitals, federal Medi-Cal matching funds. It's both an initiative statute and an initiative constitutional amendment. As you all know, Medicaid is a federal program that pays for health care services to low-income patients. Medi-Cal is the California uh, version of Medicaid or the California implementation of Medicaid and about 13 million low-income Californians are affected by Medi-Cal. For any state to receive federal Medicaid funds, the state has to contribute a matching amount of their own money. To raise these matching funds, beginning in 2009, uh, the state collects a hospital quality assurance fee, called a hospital fee, from most private hospitals. The fee ends, this fee ends January 1st, 2018. In 2015-16, which is the last year we have, the hospital fee, which was around $4 billion, was matched by a little over $4 billion from uh, the Medi-Cal funding from the federal government. So the state put in over $4 billion and got an additional $4 billion. The proposal, Prop 52, makes this fee permanent. It makes it harder for the state to end the hospital fee. It's now a majority vote of the legislature, and that will change to two-thirds under this proposition. And it excludes, and here's the constitutional amendment part of it, it excludes the money, the hospital fee money, from, calcula from the Prop 98 calculation, the calculation for K-12 through education. So to exclude the fee from that calculation requires an amendment to the Constitution. The other uh, parts of the proposition are, are just a change in the law. The fiscal impact is somewhat unknown because usually the legislature will go ahead and extend the fee, and we're not sure if they're going to or not going to. So obviously if the legislature extends the fee, the fiscal impact is zero. However, if they don't, there's about a billion dollars worth of impact um, because that fee is used to, uh, is used to pay children's health care services um, that would otherwise be paid out of the general fund. So it's saving money that the general <coughs> fund would have to pay for health services. A meaning of yes is yes in this case, and no is no in this case, nothing tricky. The major arguments in support, the proposition would keep a good idea working. The proposition would keep the legislators from diverting hospital fee money to the general fund. And the proposition would generate about $4 billion in matching federal funds. The major supporters, California Republican Party, California Democratic Party, and just a laundry list, countless state senators and representatives. The major donors are the California Health Foundation, Dignity Health, Sutter Health, and those are the top three. Against the proposition would divert resources from patients and communities to special interests, special interests in this case being the hospitals. The proposition offers no accountability for hospital CEOs and lobbyists, and the proposition would not guarantee that the funds are spent on health care. Major opponents, um, Californians for Hospital Accountability and Quality Care and the Libertarian Party. I will say that most of the money against Prop 52 actually came from SEIU, but SEIU has since rescinded their opposition and is now neutral. They said there were um, too many important initiatives on the ballot for them to spend money or time um, on Prop 52.